degrees outside, and I've got in the studio with me live right now, friend of the show, Zach Spiegel from Bold as Lion Ministries. What's up, dude? Hey, hey. Glad you're back. Yeah, me too. What do you got <laughs> going on, dude? So, uh, as I've been, we've been talking about, we're, we're looking at, at uh, renovating and, and purchasing a house for the discipleship house uh, called the Barracks. Basically, what that is is four people coming off of drugs and other strongholds, and they're looking for a place to be discipled. Mm -hmm. And so we've got some fundraising events coming up here soon. Uh, tomorrow uh, at the Dollar Tree next to Kroger, we're going to be out there uh, afternoon, about 12 o'clock to 4-ish. Okay? That's in Brownwood. Yep. And you can come out there and see what we're all about, support us. Uh, we're, <clears throat> if you have, we're going to have brownies. Um, and basically just looking for people who if want you to haven't had brownies you you haven't lived <laughs> is that what you said if you, if you haven't had brownies oh come on yeah no I say come out there and see it oh. <laughs> no but we're also uh, people who who, who uh, give to the ministry monthly we're going to be giving away free t-shirts as well <laughs> and also if you want to hear uh, some good teaching uh, Sunday night we'll be at the worship center oh it's, that's cool yeah I think it's 506 North Edward Street who who you I will be preaching. Oh, yeah. hold up. That's what's up, man. Zach Spiegel is going to be at Dollar Tree tomorrow with Boulder's Line Ministries. They're going to be having a fundraiser selling baked goods. Yep. And then also on Sunday night at the uh, worship center. Well, that's exciting, man. Go help out Zach Spiegel. All funds uh, collected there will go towards the uh, building of this new thing that y'all are doing. Tell mm -hmm. us about that. Uh, so what we're basically this is... Uh, a discipleship house is going to be called the barracks where we basically are creating men who, uh, who are out of they're coming out of drugs and addictions and strongholds so people who are struggling with pornography uh, people who are struggling with drugs or <clears throat> or maybe they just just their life just is in shambles yeah. and they're ready to, to make their life uh, go better so what we're, we're doing is we're, we're, we're creating this Discipleship House for Brown County and these, this area, the surrounding area. We need it bad. Yes, we it's need be awesome. it. Hey, you want to know what funny story? Uh, yesterday, I'm sitting in here doing my show and my phone rings, and uh, I answer it. It's from Hamilton, Texas, and uh, it's the guys down there, uh, Jason from the Hope House. Yeah. And uh, and we were talking, and I said, Yeah, no, I was talking about you on Monday on my show. I was talking about the Hope House, and he was like, Really? And I was telling him, yeah, we had a guy on here uh, named Zach Spiegel, Bold as Lion Ministries, and, and he was talking about how they're raising money for this barracks. And he said, oh my gosh, his truck is outside right now, Bold as Lion Ministries. <laughs> so you were in Hamilton I was. yesterday? Yes, sir. How'd that go? It was awesome. We, uh, I have a friend of mine that I've been uh, mentoring and discipling, and uh, <clears throat> I was down there in Hamilton to visit with him, and uh, he needed to go through the program as well. And so we set him up over there, and I got to leadership there. program. Yeah, well, and yeah, so he can grow in there as well. Mm -hmm. But the cool thing about that place is um, they they got some pretty good turn. I mean, it's all, when you're dealing with people in drugs, it's really hard to to get those types of lives turned around. But in Christ, oh, yeah. all things are possible. Dude, the numbers are horrible for like <clears throat> for state funded rehabs and stuff. The recidivism rate is mm -hmm. horrible. Yeah, and uh, and so this this is one. It yes, is, it's an outlier, and when I say an outlier, I mean it's something that defies all the statistics. It's not mm -hmm. even on the charts. It's their success is just so phenomenal yeah. that it's unlike anything. And the phenomena in in the success is Jesus. Yeah, that yes. is the phenomena. So that is good. Uh, we sat there, and I got to talk to the pastor, and he's just, he's a good man. Uh, Ed Chapman. Ed is cool. He's I love guy. Pastor Ed. Yeah. So we're just learning from these guys uh, so that we can. Of course, we may we may do things just slightly different depending on how the Holy Spirit leads us. But it's so cool because to be able to those guys would allow us. They're in Hamilton, Texas, Hope House in Hamilton, Texas. Yeah. Right now they are uh, they're housing about fifteen to sixteen guys. Uh, they make peanut brittle and uh, they have Bible studies every morning and to pray and then they have it's some a real time. deal, dude. Yeah, dude. They're it, and you know I learned a lot there just the fact that they live together and <clears throat> basically. You know, they, they work, they uh, they make the peanut brittle, they send the guys out there to go raise the funds, and it's very successful because people believe in what's going on and they believe in that house. And so then they um, they have a bunch of time that's a little bit, it's not free time, it's their time that they dig in the Word and they, they just get into it. And so the reason why they're so successful is because 
it's there's the camaraderie between the guys. They yeah. all love Jesus. Oh, yeah, dude, they I'll go down there to, to Giovanni's to and I'll change. pick them up some pizzas and sodas and I'll go kick it with them, dude, and, and we'll sit around and play guitars and, and I'll, you know, talk to them all and share my story so that, you know, they can be inspired mm -hmm. to see, hey, that on the other side, man, you can have a fun, exciting life and, and be sober as well. And they're so cool. It's so different from any other rehab. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, other rehabs are, are tripping. It's rules, 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 and there's a lot of animosity and a, mm -hmm. lot, of, a lot of snitch programming going on and just kind of brainwashing. And, and it's just not right, dude. It doesn't work, and mm -hmm. the people there are angry. And, uh, but this is totally different. Yeah, it's, it's like, pretty laid back. It seems like a men's retreat. They have the right? rules to protect people, but... They they're still there to lay back because oh well, it's, it's all so about less ruling. Yeah. like okay, like ah, yeah. for example, flip flops, or shorts, and, and a beard are allowed. Oh, I see. You yeah, can yeah. you know that would never be allowed at another facility to grow a beard. No, you have to shave at five in the morning every morning, and uh, if you don't, you get written up and you oh, lose I got your privileges beard, so. and all this stuff. <laughs> oh, you'd be out of there. They would make you cut your beard just on GP. And uh, you couldn't wear you couldn't wear that shirt. You couldn't wear those shoes. You couldn't mm. do this. You couldn't do that. And they just look for any reason to catch you slipping. They're just looking to violate you on something rather than looking to get you sober and headed in the right direction. Yeah. This place focuses on the stuff that matters, building up people, and, operating and, integrity and honesty, transparency. Oh yeah, those things are so key to and um, being successful. Of course, they center it all on that black back 66 caliber book so hot it's going to melt the earth one day dude and <laughs> and there ain't no other rehab in the world that's going to center their stuff on that they'll center it on every other book in the world but but the bible and uh you know you bring that up and all of a sudden people's head head spinning and they're offended yeah but, uh, you know i love that place those guys down there are doing good and and uh so it was cool that you were down there working with them man anyways uh, plug that that baked good uh, thing one more time. It's going to be Friday and Saturday from noon to four, and we're going to be uh, promoting uh, the the discipleship house called the Barracks, uh, and we're hoping. I'm you know I'm believing the Lord for us to raise the funds and get people in that house in the next few months. I I, I really want to get this up and rolling. And if you guys uh, need anything, just check out the website or email me at one core 420 at gmail.com. All right. Thanks. Zach Spiegel, friend of the show. Thanks for coming on. Go <laughs> go get some brownies from a Dollar Tree tomorrow and Saturday and see him at the Worship House on Sunday. Here's your Central Texas weather.